May is Water Safety Month, and with us being just around the corner, there is no better time to brush up on your water and swim safety skills. Here in the Low Country, we are so lucky to be surrounded by beautiful waterways and pools, of course, but we have a responsibility to know what to do if something goes wrong. So here with me today to talk about the importance of water safety and the Splash Into Safety program at the Somerville Family YMCA is Ashley Reed. Ashley, welcome. Thank you so much for having me. It's good to see you again. Last time we were here, we were talking about Flower Town Festival. Yes, absolutely. So now we're jumping right into water safety. Yeah, first of all, <laughs> how was Flower Town Festival for you guys? It was amazing. So we had an incredible turnout. The weather could not have been better. Um, everyone just really was in such a good mood to be outside in Somerville. It was great. We had so much fun being out there. <laughs> we loved having y'all yeah, there. <laughs> it, was so, it was so great. We got to meet so many of you guys um, who are viewers. Um, so let's talk about Water Safety Month. It's almost May, which is hard to believe. Yes. Um, so what is this month? How did this all originate? Yeah, so um, Water Safety Month is a national in initiative. Um, I don't know if you know, but um, in the U.S. we have about an average of 4,000 drowning deaths per year. Mm -hmm. And locally, we actually in the um, Dorchester, Berkeley, and Charleston counties, we have the highest rate of drowning and near drownings mm -hmm. for children under the age of 10. And so Water Safety Month is a great opportunity for us to really address the needs and mm -hmm. make sure that everyone in the community has resources that can help prevent those statistics. Yeah, the water, the, um, the not the water, the, the heat <laughs> is here. We're thinking about going swimming more. What are some things that we should be keeping in mind to keep um, our families and our friends safe? Absolutely, so I'm um, definitely having a uh, Coast Guard approved life jacket mm -hmm. anytime, especially when you are on the boat, in the ocean, those sorts of things, making sure that, especially having parents involved, parents, caregivers, adults, of, of course, um, really involved in being a water watcher mm -hmm. and making sure that anytime that you have a child um, in the water that you're really paying attention and focusing on what they're doing. And also just making sure you're not swimming alone and that goes for both children and adults. Mm -hmm. And what is the Splash Into Safety program? How important is that to you guys? It's tremendous. So actually this is something that we are working in conjunction with a number of community organizations um, where we actually go out and take drowning prevention lessons to rural areas. So mm -hmm. we go out to St. George and Walterboro, set up a portable pool and are able to offer drowning prevention lessons to kids who may not have access to it otherwise both financial and um, transportation uh, barriers. So you're actually bringing the pool to them. We are. So it's a portable pool. Uh, Colleton County actually brings it out, sets up the pool for us, and our lifeguards and instructors go out and teach drowning prevention lessons. So it's not just your typical um, swim lesson. It would be things like, you know, making sure that they can float on their back, understanding, and really getting the parents involved as well in the process of being water watchers mm -hmm. and being safe around water. What have you heard from those parents and those um, families in these communities? Like, how important is this to them? How does that feel? It's tremendous. So we actually have people who have driven 45 minutes just to attend these lessons wow. because otherwise they understand the importance of it. We have some families who have experienced loss mm -hmm. or drowning deaths in their own families and so this is incredibly important for them and actually we've had a number of parents and caregivers, parents, grandparents, caregivers who have signed up for adult swim lessons after seeing their children and grandchildren mm -hmm. participate in the Splash in the Safety program. So it's all ages. It is. So we actually offer um, swim lessons to children who are six months up to, I mean, really 99, 100 plus years old, just to make sure that, you know, everyone is safe around water. Mm -hmm. And can you talk about the facilities that you have in the Somerville area? I know you have some pools. Yes, absolutely. So we have our um, downtown Somerville facility. We have an indoor pool. And then mm -hmm. at our Oak Brook facility, we have an outdoor swimming pool. Yeah. Um, we offer both the swim lessons, uh, the water safety program, and then also uh, we have swim team who who is there quite a lot. Mm -hmm. and, and why is this initiative so important to the Somerville Family YMCA? So honestly, we wanna make sure that everyone has access to drowning prevention mm -hmm. lessons. There are so many statistics in our community just on you know the number of drownings and near drownings. This is incredibly important yeah. to us and I think a lot of our community partners as well. Mm -hmm. Any other programs you want the community to know about when it comes to drowning, swim safety, anything like that? Um, I mean, we have really swim lessons all year long. Mm -hmm. We are offering on, actually on May 15th, we're gonna be having a water safety day at our Oak Brook facility. And so people, this is gonna be a free event. People can come out 
from the public, come hang out with us and just really get a kickstart into the water safety initiatives that we'll be hosting mm -hmm. all throughout the year. And talk to me about registration. Um, how do people sign up to take advantage of all of this? Yeah, so they can come to our website at SomervilleYMCA.org, learn all about our swim lessons, splash into safety, everything that we offer at the Y. Mm -hmm. Anything else you want to let people know about things going on in May at the Somerville Family Y? Oh man, there's so much all the time. So we have, of course, all of our sports programs taking place. We have a number of wellness programs so really anytime that you come to our website there's something going mm -hmm. on definitely follow us on Facebook as well because there's a, that's probably the best way yeah. to stay up to date on what we have going on awesome well it's so good to see you here again you thank again, you Fire festival was so much fun uh, thank you for bringing all that fun to our community and these important safety initiatives as well. absolutely and thank you for helping us get the word out of course of course <laughs> Ashley thanks thank you